our weekend favorite sinigong. This is Cookie with Mia. <laughs> and your sister, your sister's gonna help. All right, so let's start with the protein. It's a heritage Berkshire. What makes this different, they feed it in a method that gives you a lot of marbling. Now this is pork belly, so it's already fatty, but it's very flavorful. Now this is just a normal pork, but this is pork spare ribs. What I like about this, it's still flavorful, but it's the bones. There's a lot of health benefits. And we want that in our sinigang. Japanese eggplant, we just prefer this. This is what we like. Japanese radish, it's called daikon. Both of these, of course, healthy. Baby bok choy. I'm curious if you guys use regular bok choy, like the bigger version of this in your sinigang. We like the bok choy, the baby bok choy. Tomatoes, we put plenty of these. So the girls are gonna help me cut this because that's a great one to practice on. I don't have serrano, I have a jalapeno pepper, but yeah, we're not gonna we just, cut it. We just put in the whole thing. Yeah, so it's not spicy, right? But we have to watch it. We gotta watch it so it doesn't break apart. And then I've got an onion, green beans, chicken stock. What we need to do is wash all of these. I need to cut it. Yeah, you can cut it too. See that part between, I guess, the stem and where we would eat? Just cut right down and just be very careful like that. So all the way down like that. Why don't you cut that part off? Okay? What? So take this and you're gonna go right down to that area. But you have to hold the black toy. Good job. Good job. Go ahead, rip it all off. All right, so next what you're gonna do is just clean these green beans. There you go. You asked me, my grandma. One thing I love about tomatoes, it adds an umami and a savoriness. I never thought there was tomatoes in sinigang until we started cooking sinigang because I never saw it when I was eating it. Maybe this is just our recipe, but Papa was the one that first told me about it. Onion, I'm just gonna cut it real thin, almost uh, a small dice. Not quite mince, but a smaller dice. Alright, for daikon, of course, just wash it, peel the outside layer. One thing with daikon, you gotta make sure you cook it through. With the eggplant, I wash it, but I don't pre-slice it because this will change colors. I'm gonna cut this right before I put it into the sinigang. All right, so I've got everything prepped and I like to put things in the order that I'm gonna be cooking it. Of course, the pork first. Then over here, we've got the onions. I'll put the daikon and the tomatoes in next. Fill this up with a whole bunch of water and then go on to the more delicate ingredients. Green beans, the eggplant, and then the bok choy. Last but not least, the flavor packets. This is our brand of choice. First thing we're gonna do is brown the meat. I know this is not traditional, but we like to get some of that flavor searing the outside. So we'll do that with all the pork. Dad, are you hungry? No, not really. Why? Don't you because I'm I'm doing uh, Benji Man style sinigang again. Oh, okay. But you know one thing that I learned from you is the tomatoes. Yes. Putting in the tomatoes because it adds a lot of umami. When I personally do it in the uh -huh. Philippines, yeah, I mix the tomatoes and the onions. Yeah. Yeah. Together. Oh, together beforehand? Together, and then this is something that I don't know if other people know, but this is how. Me and your mom, yeah. Nini, is right. doing it. Yeah. And then the some palak mix. Yeah. Yeah. I put it together. Oh. With, with a clean hands. Yeah. It's massive with it. Really? You know? 
And then, of course, we have Chile. Yeah. Chile. Yeah. Yeah. For Sinigang, and we added together. In oh, interesting. I've never heard of that. Yeah, and that's. Yeah, that's how I do my my. And what does that do? Thing. What's what what's the kind of uh, thought process? Well, it, it extract most of the tomatoes and yeah. the um, onion onions flavor together. Got and it. It, it pre mix it with the flavor is there. It's very, it's gonna oh, be very interesting. Rich yeah. When you do that together. Got it. So and should I do that? Boils, yeah. Well, it's up to you how you do it. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try yeah. it. Yeah. All right, so before I mix the tomatoes and the onions and the seasoning, like Papa mentioned, I'm gonna start the pork. You don't even need any oil here because there's already a lot of fat in here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place it in here right now. Okay, we're gonna do something Papa just taught me. I, I didn't know Mama used to do this, but this is their method. You're gonna put in the tomatoes and then all the onions and then this flavor packet and Papa says you mix it by hand. Yeah, go ahead. Good. Put all that in there. Yep. Get all those little bits. We don't want to waste it. You, you can use it. Oh, there you go. Then you're going to dump this whole flavor packet in there. And then with the hand with the glove, you're going to just massage it. Okay? Put all of it in there. There you go. Good. That's what Papa suggested. Crush the tomatoes? Yeah, go ahead. Crush it. Yeah. Like there that. You go. You're going to massage the tomatoes in with the onions. Okay. the pork belly and we're gonna put the pork sparrows in now. There you go. And what I'm doing here, picking up the heat, I'm just kind of like stir frying it almost. As I mentioned, just browning it a little bit. Ah, not too much. You gotta be careful, a lot of oil in there. Get these guys back in. A little bit of salt. Now that tomato mixture, I'm going to put it right on in. And then the chicken stock. Yeah? When? I'll tell you when. I'm going to want to really fill it up. That's probably good. Right there. All right, so now at this point, you just let it cook for about 30 to 45 minutes on a low heat. This is actually the first time I'm cooking this all by myself without Judy. Or I'm surprised when girls. I heard you were going to make cinnamon. I know, right? Okay. One at a time. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep it on a super low heat and cover it. Let me stir it a little bit. Judy came down and I need the master to taste this and tell me if I need to add anything because I only use one packet of flavor. Oh. Yeah, I would I would still add stuff. You know dad said he uses a little sprinkle of MSG. Oh for sure. Well let's put some MSG. I'm down with that. What about the the flavor packet? Maybe like 
A little bit. A quarter. But w this is all we have left, though. We don't have the other brand. Yeah. Oh, okay. So a quarter of that? I mean, yeah, I would do like a quarter of Okay. This. Papa uses MSG. We're going to use MSG. That's not true. Remember, he even put... Um, Bouillon, but he said oh he right no what this is yeah, this but he is... said he doesn't always do that he just did it then and you said about a third of this quarter of this i think i would do a quarter yeah and no salt though huh no no need remember so much sodium already so it's been an hour since we started cooking green beans all right Go ahead. When you drop vegetables into a boiling pot of whatever, do it close, like that. I dropped them. I'm so close. Now, but yeah. I there you go. Perfect. Get soft? Yes. Yeah, we just got that stuff when we were done. It's been five minutes since we added that batch of green beans. We always cut these later, the eggplant, so it doesn't turn colors. We're gonna go ahead and add all this. Yeah, so it's so cold. So the bok choy, I like the smaller pieces, hence why we buy the baby bok choy. And the bigger ones, what I did was I just sliced it right down the middle, so it's more bite size and more manageable. I may not add all of this because this is quite a bit, but uh, right when the eggplant is done, we'll add this. And Judy usually turns off the heat. I'm gonna let the heat go for about one or two more minutes, but then it's time for dinner. Last ingredient is the bok choy. So we're just gonna place on there and then I will push it down. Well, this is, Stuffed full. It's too wet enough, I think. <laughs> no, no, we're gonna do it. All right, man. Don't, guess what? You don't see this part, but we add a lot of bok choy. For those people that like bok choy, it's nice to have a, a whole bunch. Now, it doesn't mean you have to have a ton in your bowl, though. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for helping me. Thank you, Mia, for dinner. Okay, I'll get vegetables now. Less of Hey, ooh, ooh. Don't do that. Don't do that. It's not like attention. Done. You be good girl. Leo May, please. You close it. Oh, no, I do. No, I haven't done that in like forever. After you like years. Mm. Nice job, Daddy and Mia. Thank you. Look, I help me. Mm. I help me. I'll give this to the kids. Mm.